In this class, we will be solving a problem on design of FIR filter. Let us see the problem. The given question is design an ideal low pass filter with a frequency response HD of e to the power j omega is given as 1 for minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. HD of e to j omega value is 1 for omega value lying between minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and is 0 for otherwise that is for pi by 2 less than equal to mod of omega less than equal to pi. So, the frequency response is given to us. Find the value of h of n for capital N is equal to 11 capital N indicates samples. So, you have to find the value of h of n first and then find h of z. Ok, let us start the solution. So, in the previous class we have seen the steps to design FIR filter using Fourier series method. So, the solution is based on Fourier series method. So, HD of e to j omega is a desired frequency response which is given to us. Based on this, we will compute HD of n that is a desired impulse response and which is of infinite nature. Then we truncate that impulse response to finite value. So, this is desired impulse response of, of infinite values and is then truncated to h of n. And based on this h of n value that is uh, impulse response value, we are computing the transfer function h of z by applying z transform to h of n. h of z is not physically realizable because it is containing positive powers of z. So, we multiply this h of z with z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 by n minus 1 by 2 dot h of z to get h dash of z. So, these are the four steps to find the transfer function h of z. h d of n first, then h of n, h of z and then h dash of z. So, let us first write the desired frequency response once again h d of e to j omega is equal to 1 for minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 and is 0 otherwise. Second step is we have to find h d of n that is inverse Fourier transform of h d of e to j omega. Its equation is given by 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi to pi h d of e to the j omega dot e to the power j omega n d omega. So, in this equation we have to substitute h d of e to the power j omega. What is h d of e to j omega? It is defined as 1 for, bit, for the range minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, which I have substituted here h d of e to j, j omega is substituted as 1 in the range minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. So, I am writing h d of n omega and h d of n equation as 1 by 2 pi integral minus pi by 2 to pi by 2 1 dot e to the power j omega and d omega. Now, integrate this in terms of omega. So, what you will get 1 by 2 pi. So, I have replaced this and written as e to j omega and d omega. On integration, we will get 1 by 2 pi e to the power j omega n d omega is e to the power j omega n by j n because we are integrating with respect to omega. So, we got e to j omega n by j n in the range from minus pi by 2 to pi by 2. On simplifying that is on substituting 1 by 2 pi dot 1 by j n substitute omega value e to the power j pi by 2 n minus e to the power minus j pi by 2 n which I have written it here. 
ok. So, it is written as 1 by 2 pi j n e to the power j pi by 2 n minus e to the power minus j pi by 2 n. On rearranging the terms, writing pi n outside and taking 2 j inside. So, it is written as e to the power j pi by 2 n minus e to the minus j pi by 2 n by 2 j. So, if you look at this equation, it is similar to Euler's equation e to the power j theta minus e to minus j theta by 2 j is nothing but sin theta. So, now we can write this equation as sin pi by 2 n because what is here theta? Theta is pi by 2 n e to the power j theta minus e to minus j theta. So, what is theta here? Pi by 2 n. So, it is written as sin theta sin of pi by 2 n. Okay, so, we got h d of n as 1 by pi n sin of pi by 2 n. This desired impulse response is of infinite nature. So, n values ranging from minus infinity to infinity. And as we are designing an FIR filter, it should be truncated. So, third step is truncating the HD of n to 11 samples because capital N is given as 11 in the question. So, how to truncate it? We are writing truncating HD of n as H of n. H of n is equal to HD of n for more than less than or equal to n minus 1 by 2 or 0 otherwise. Okay. So, 0 otherwise. So, what is H D of n? I have written it here. So, H of n is H D of n. What is H D of n? Sin pi by 2 n by pi n. Capital N value is 11, 11 minus 1 by 2 that is 5. So, mod n is less than or equal to 5 okay? and is 0 otherwise. So, we got h d of n as this value and which is of infinite in nature and then we truncated this h d of n to h of n as sin pi by 2 n by pi n where this n is ranging where mod n is less than or equal to 5 and is 0 otherwise. And the fourth step is now we have to find we have truncated h d of n to h of n. Now, we have to find this h of n. How many h of n's we have to find? We have to start from h of 0 more than less than or equal to 5. So, we have to start from h of 0, h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4, and h of 5. So, we have to find these many impulse response coefficients. So, let us now first find h of 0. So, how can we find h of 0? This is h of n. From here, we want to get h of 0. So, what if you do n value is 0? So, it becomes infinite, it becomes indeterminate. But when there is some finite value for h of 0. So, to find h of 0, we are putting limit h of 0 is equal to limit n is equal n tending to 0 sin pi by 2 n by pi n. Okay. Now, multiply and divide this denominator by 2. So, we can write this as 1 by 2 limit n tending to 0 sin pi by 2 n by sin pi by 2 n and we know the formula limit theta tending to 0 sin theta by theta is equal to how much 1. So, here sin theta tending to 0 sin theta by theta this value can be written as 1. Okay. So, what is h of 0 value? We are getting as 1 by 2. 
Next we have to find what is h of 1, h of 2, h of 3, h of 4 and h of 5. So, we know for symmetrical impulse response we can write h of n is equal to h of minus n. So, for n is equal to 1, what is h of n? So, we can write h of 1 is equal to h of minus 1 based on this equation h of 1 is equal to h of minus 1. What is h of n equation given? Uh, we got it sin pi by 2 n by pi n. So, now substitute n value as 1 in this equation. So, we will get sin pi by 2 by pi. Sin pi by 2 value is 1. So, it is coming as 1 by pi. On simplifying, we will be getting it as 0.3183. Okay. Similarly, for n is equal to 2, h of 2 is equal to h of minus 2. Substitute n value as 2 here. So, we will be getting sin pi by 2 pi. Sin pi is 0. So, we got h of 2 value as 0. For n is equal to 3, h of 3 is equal to h of minus 3. Substitute n is equal to 3 here. Sin 3 pi by 2 by 3 pi which is equal to minus 1, minus 1 by 3 pi. So, it will be coming as minus 0 0.106, minus 0 0.106. For h of 4, for n is equal to 4, h of 4 is equal to h of minus 4, which is equal to sin 4 pi by 2 by 4 pi which is coming to be as 0 because sin 2 pi is 0. For n is equal to 5, h of 5 is equal to h of minus 5. Substitute n is equal to 5 here, sin 5 pi by 2 by 5 pi. So, it will come as 1 by 5 pi. On simplifying, we will get it as 0 0.06366. Okay. So, in this way we computed h of 0, h of 1, h of minus 1, h, h of 2 is equal to h of minus 2, h of 3 is equal to h of minus 3, h of 4 is equal to h of minus 4, h of 5 is equal to h of minus 5. The next step is once we get the truncated impulse response, we can find the transfer function of the filter which is given as h of z is equal to h of 0 plus summation n is equal to 1 to n minus 1 by 2 h of n z to the power of n plus z to the power minus n. So, here substitute capital N value is 11 is given in the question. h of 0 value is 0 0.5, 0 0.5 plus summation n is equal to 1 to 5 small n is varying from 1 to 5, h of 0 is already written. So, h of n values will vary from 1 to 5, h of n z to the power n plus z to the power minus n. On expanding this series, we can write h of z as 0 0.5 plus, we are having the values for h of 1 is equal to h of minus 1 h of 3 is equal to h of minus 3 and h of 5 is equal to h of minus 5. This value is coming to be as 0 0.3183 and this value is coming as minus 0 0.106 and this value is coming to be as 0 0.06366. So, here we have substituted h2 and h4 are not there, they are coming as zeros h2 and h4 are zeros. 0 0.5 plus h of 1, h of 1 value is 0 0.3183, z to the power n value is 1, 1 plus z to the power minus 1, 2 is 0, now 3, 3 is minus 0 0.106 z to the power 3 plus z to the power minus 3 plus z to the power this h of 4 is 0. 
now we will go to h of 5, h of 5 is 0 0.06366 z to the power 5 plus z to the power minus 5. So, we got h of z, it's con it is not realizable filter, the transfer function is not realizable because it is containing positive powers of z. To make it realizable, the transfer function of the realizable filter is obtained by is given by h dash of z, h dash of z which is equal to h dash of z is equal to z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 dot h of z. This h of z we got it here. Now multiply this h of z with this value. So, uh, on simplifying uh, n is equal to 11 on simplifying we will get this as z to the power minus 5. So, h dash of z is equal to z to the power minus 5 dot h of z and this h of z is this equation. So, multiply this complete equation with z to the power minus 5. On simplifying, we will get h dash of z is equal to z to the power minus 5 multiply with this h of z ok. On opening the bracket, we will get h dash of z is equal to 0 0.06366 minus 0.106 z to the power minus 2 plus 0.3183 z to the power minus 4 plus 0.5 z to the power minus 5 plus 0.3183 z to the power minus 6 minus 0.106 z to the power minus 8 plus 0.06366 z to the power minus 10. So, we got h dash of z. This is a final answer. So, let us quickly summarize the work what we have done. What is given to us? h d of e to the power j omega is given which is known as desired frequency response of the low pass filter they have given us. Based on this desired frequency response, we computed h d of n. What is h d of n? Desired impulse response but it is of infinite nature and we are designing an FIR filter. FIR stands for finite impulse response. So, we have truncated this h d of n to h of n and then found h of z the transfer function of the filter by finding the z transform of h of n. h of z is not physically realizable because it is containing positive powers of z. So, we find h dash of z by multiplying h of z with z to the power of minus of n minus 1 by 2 ok. So, this is a summary of the design of FIR filter of low pass filter using Fourier series method. I hope you have understood. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.